What's up guys, my name's Aaron from Build On Purpose and I am putting together my top three tuning tools that I would recommend if you're tuning SU carbs on your Z car. Uh, now I've had my round top SUs on my 240Z for some time, my L28 stroke motor, and I got some really good results. Um, but that was, wasn't was possible without the three tools I'm going to explain here. So I'll link these up in the description too so you can find them. Um, but let's get into it. Coming in at number three is a wideband data logger or wideband oxygen sensor. Now, um, there's a variety of gauges and other fitments out there, but I recommend the Innovate LM2 uh, data logger. Uh, this is just a single sensor kit. You can get a twin sensor kit if you decide to put one in for a sensor and the exhaust for each one of these banks. Now, I've had mine since 2009 and it has been a very robust unit. You would have seen, uh, if you follow my videos, you'd see the outputs from the Logwork software where I compare the different tunes from when I swap the needles. Uh, for these carbs, but it is a, a very good unit. Uh, it has analog inputs where you could log um, TPS, F, anything, anything that's on a zero to five volt scale. You just got to configure it within the software, which is is a very simple process. So, um, yeah, these are, are good little units. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that's a data logger like this for this cost. Uh, so they're very re well, it's very recommended for me, and I've used it for a very long time. So that's my number. Th that's my third uh, recommended tool. So my second recommended tool um, is to complement the Unisyn uh, synchronizing tool, which you should already have in your kit as part of um, just ordinary tuning of your carbs. You'd need one of these for the high, RP, the higher, high RPM tuning to make sure everything's right. Uh, but the, the second tool I recommend is actually just a DCOE or side drive carb um, synchrometer. Now the reason why I recommend this is it's actually got a, uh, you'd use this for fine tuning your idle. I found it very handy. It has a much finer scale um, it, I found it much more accurate rather than this which you know you, you adjust you throttle the air going through and you just make sure this little um, float sits at the right spot I found that quite inaccurate in comparison to this uh, and this was just stumbled across because I had this from when I had my 45 DCOEs and um, but yeah it's very much recommended my second recommended tool to help you tune your carbs my number one tuning tool uh, for SU carbs, and if you're not going to consider any of the others, at least consider this because this saves so many headaches, is a float sink. Now, float sink was uh, is a product developed specifically for the uh, 240s, well, the Datsun Z carbs, and it is actually uh, a replacement for the special tool um, that fixes to the front of the fuel bowl here and allows you to see the fuel level. Now, I've um, I've had these for a number of years. I think I had one of the first revisions and there's, they're making them again now, from what I can understand. Uh, but it is oh, it is the most crucial tool to setting your fuel float bowls. Uh, doing it the tradition, the means it recommended and spacing it out and turning it upside down and all that stuff in the, man, you know, what the manufacturer's man, manual specifies. Uh, that That's pretty good, but this gets it precise. Uh, and I can't recommend this tool enough. So if you can get yourself one of these, I highly recommend it. It's it certainly helps for that fine tweaking. Like uh, particular when I particularly when I was running tunes, I actually adjusted the float height to see if I could enrich the mixture. Um, but it's just that's just one example. Uh, so if you're not going to get anything else, at least get a float sink for tuning your carbs. So they are my three highly recommended tools if you're going to tune SU carbs. Leave me a comment if you already have some of these tools. I think there's a few people that, um, that might have the float sync, which could attest to the helpfulness uh, and the quality of the product. So you yeah, leave me a comment. Love to hear your, your thoughts. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're the three tools that certainly I recommend um, if you're going to stick with the SU carbs because, I mean, they're a good carb. I don't understand why people give them such a bad rap. I got 200 horsepower, rear wheel horsepower on my L28 stroker motor with just the standard 240Z carbs. I mean, they're really good. Their theory and their operation works well. Their airflow is actually surprisingly high. Oh man, I wish um, more people ran them. Hey, but anyway, um, that's it for the episode. Uh, I'll have this summarized in a blog post too on the web page. So if you've got a chance, um, I'd love you for you to click on that um, that blog post and have a look around the web page and also let me know your thoughts. Um, I'll uh, stop talking. And I'll um, catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys. See ya.